So today I will be playing a couple of solo scenarios of Calico and then later today this evening I will be playing uh, first at 7 p.m. a playthrough, a play along of Karuba, and then at 7:30 another game of cartographers like we did earlier this week because that was a lot of fun. Let's see if mine is actually loading for everybody. Hi, Lycan. I think mine was still on hosting mode for a little bit because one of the channels I support is also currently live. So let's see if I can get my video feed to load on my own screen so I can actually watch the chat because that would be convenient. At least, well, as long as you guys can hear and see me, I suppose that's all right. Ah, there we go. I've got visual myself now. That's helpful. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Make sure everything is still visible. There we go. Should be good now. So what I'll be doing right now is playing some solo scenarios of Calico. And Calico is one of my favorite family weight games. It's cat themed as you can see. And the gameplay is actually really simple. You get three gold tiles. And once you play the advanced game you will be able to pick from four of them. And... On your turn, you will simply play one of the two tiles in your hand onto your board and then refill from three tiles that are out on the table called the market. So let me grab three of those. If you play with three to four players, each exact tile will be in the game three times. So there's three green polka dots, for example. However, if you play with two players or the solo mode, I recommend using the lower luck uh, variant in the rulebook. In that case, each tile is only in there twice. There are six colors and six patterns in the game. So basically I play a tile, I refill, next turn, and you continue until your board is full. So really simple rules wise, but there's quite a bit of depth and quite a bit of replayability. Because there's three ways to score points. You have these goals. This one says I need uh, six different colors or six different patterns to get 10 points. And if I do both colors and patterns, I get 15. This one says two pairs and two singles, and this one says a triple, a pair and a single. The other thing I can do is connect three of the same color, and as always you can use the edge of your board. So if I connect two more light blue somewhere here to this one, then I would have three light blue, I would gain a button. Buttons are worth three points, and if you get one of each color you get a rainbow as a bonus, which is another three points, so basically three bonus points. Yay! And then finally, of course, we have the cats that would like to come nap on your quilt. This one says I need three connected tiles of one of these patterns. This one says I need four. And this one says I need four, but they need to be in a straight line. I can rotate the straight line. So the straight line can be like this. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly horizontal. And the cats are worth three, five and seven points. In the solo scenario, the game will tell you what cats to put out and what goal tiles to use. But you can pick where to put each goal. And it will also give me some objectives. For this particular scenario, I believe I'm in scenario number four at this point. Let me double check that for you. I think I'm in four. I am indeed on number four. And this one says I'm going to need to collect three buttons of the same color and complete each goal on the blue level. So either color or pattern. And also end up with at least 61 points. And if I do that, I beat the scenario and I get to try a new one. Of course, there's different cats in the game box as well. So if you play multiple scenarios or if you play the multiplayer game, you can experiment with different ones. But this one says this is what we I need to put out. So that's what we're doing. And now let's see where I want to put my first one. I definitely need to work on these goals because those are one of my main objectives. And of course, because I do need to score at least 61 points, I do also kind of need some cats probably to actually pull it off. And uh, someone in my chat box, Lycan, is asking how many solo scenarios there are in the rulebook. And there's 10 of them. Okay, I'm going to start with this one, I believe. Because that way I could possibly get four stripes in a straight line. I can also do that like this, to be fair. But anyway, I can do that. And then I also connect two green ones together. So that will help me get a button. I do think I might want to go for the green buttons in this game. We'll see. 
The downside is there's no stripes here yet, so I can't continue that right away. I will have this one in my hand. Let's see, if I move this up a little bit, I can probably put the tails in my hand on the table. Make that easier for you guys to see. There we go. That should do it. So I get to pick one of these, and then the one that's at the bottom gets discarded, so only one is left to, simula to simulate a multiplayer game, and then I put two new ones out there, and that way play continues. Okay. So, let's see. I was going to try for the for the green button thing. Because I'm going to need three buttons of one color. And green is looking kind of nice with my board, I think. So, I would like to pick this one. That means this one gets discarded out of the game. This one slides down and we'll grab two new ones. I have to make sure I don't accidentally peek into this bag. I will just look the other way. You guys can't see it, but I'm just looking the other way every time I stick my hand in there. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna just put another green one here and get a button, that should help. And I want to connect that to these two to continue, oh actually I might as well do it here, then I still have three green ones connected, and I also have two polka dots so that might help me work towards a cat. Three green ones means one green button. Hello, good to see you. Yeah, I really love this one as well. You can play it super simple and play it with people that are very new to board games, but it can also be very dinky. If you play two player, it can become kind of cutthroat. Solo is more of a puzzle. Three to four players is kind of a little bit of both. So I really enjoy this one. Okay, refilling. I definitely want this one, but uh, if I pick one of these, the other one gets discarded and this one will be left for the next turn. So it's possible to leave it on the board and just grab it next turn if I think one of these appeals to me. But I don't think I find any one of those particularly appealing. Although, then again, here this would connect both two yellow and two of that pattern. I do like that, actually. Let's just grab that. That means this one gets discarded. This one moves down. Oh, my sleeves are really annoying. Let me pull them up. I feel like I keep sliding stuff around. And another one. There we go. So now, again, I have these two to pick from for my next turn. I'm going to... Put this one here like I've already I had already figured out. Oh nice! The shelf of Palooza con was really fun. And yeah, I've I've heard that comment on uh, I put an earlier scenario playthrough of this on YouTube as well, and then someone commented that they had also been trying to beat the scenarios without the lower luck for Ryan, so all of the tiles in the game, and they had an awful time. And then once they actually used the lower luck for Ryan. It definitely becomes much more doable. Alright, so I definitely need stripes. So I'm not even going to bother looking at the rest of this. This gets tossed out. I'm fine with that. This one slides down. And that one might look appealing because they would be like, Oh, I have three of the same pattern already and I have three of the same color. But I can't actually put that here because, I, because one of the goals for my current solo scenario is completing each of these goals. And if I put another yellow here, then I have two of the same color. So I can no longer get this one in six different colors. And I would also have two of the same patterns, so I can also not do it in patterns. So this one is actually horrible. It would be nice in a multiplayer game, perhaps. But then you would still screw yourself out of 10 points. So not a, it might look appealing, but with this goal being here, that's not actually a good play. If another goal had been here, this would definitely be a tell I would want to pick up. But yeah, not right now. I'm going to put this one here. That's three out of four stripes. And actually, if I put another one here, it will be five. But that doesn't matter. I meet the goal. Exceeding it is fine. I also put two light blue ones next to each other. Hopefully, I'll get, an, I get a third and get another button later. And now I get to refill my hand. Like I said, definitely not this one. I could go for more stripes for the very expensive cat. And put that here. But then I ruin the chance of doing this one in color. So I actually think I like this one better because I can put two pinks next to each other, two ferns next to each other, so it can help with both button and cat goals potentially. And it will leave this one open in both color and pattern. So I think that would be the best call. Oh wait, I already have a pink one here that I could put there. Hmm. Then it's a little less interesting. It's still fine, but it's not necessarily the most obvious choice then anymore. In that case, I could consider going for the stripes and maybe doing that one in pattern instead of color and trying to go for another expensive cat. I think I would find that more appealing. Let's try that. 
I'm tossing this one out. And yeah, the way they phrase it in the rulebook, it's like, well, you could do that if you want to. And they don't really emphasize how that it's pretty important in the one player game. And it's, it also makes the two player games, I feel, much more fun to do to actually use that lower luck for Ryan and take out some of those tiles. But if you do play at different player counts a lot, like maybe I play at one player now and I play at three player in an hour, if I wasn't living by myself, then I can imagine people not using the lower luck because they find it a hassle to keep taking out tiles. I live by myself and I do have two friends in a COVID bubble that uh, do visit me, but I don't visit at the same time. So at the moment, all of my games are either single player or two player, meaning I can just leave the third set of tiles out on the side. I was going to do that. That's not allowed. I should put tiles from here on my board. I was going to do this one and then I'm going to try and do this one in Patterns probably are not colors, so that I can put this one here later. Or I can put the stripes here and get a cat that way. Either way, we like stripes. Uh, let's see, what else do I want? I can also do it in color and go for this one for a cat. It would also be nice. I think... Hmm, tough choices. I think I just want to put take this one now and I'll figure it out later. Probably. This is a very expensive cat, but I don't think I can actually use it on my board. No, actually, I don't want that. I just want this one anyway. And then this one gets discarded. We're sliding this down. And we're getting two more. I plan to be alive with this game for about 60 to 90 minutes, depending on when I feel like I want to get dinner. It's something I can put in a microwave today, so nice and easy. So we'll see how far I get and how many scenarios I actually played through. I made sure to put stuff out on my table off camera so that I can do up to three scenarios. But that would of course also mean that I would win them all the first go around. Otherwise I have to replay some. So I don't think that's actually likely. But hey, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, I'm going to put more stripes here. So I have a line of at least four stripes. So we get the Taco Cat. And we put him somewhere there. So you always put the buttons and the cats on your board. This way it's easy to see what has scored and what hasn't. Another thing to keep in mind is that you must actually do that. So it's also not possible to count something twice. Like maybe I put two more green buttons here. That does not get me a group of six. But if I put two green ones here, then I would get a group of six. Because it's a new group. So it's actually beneficial to try and do that. And this way... It, can make it, it will make it easy for you not to count things twice. You won't have to be like, is this five or six? No, it's just this group already has a button, so this group is done. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? I needed three buttons of the same color, which probably means I'm going to need some more green, because I already have one green button, which means this one is an interesting one to go for. I also have to keep my goals in mind. I'm also going to need something green here, so this is going to be... Doubly beneficial. I think I can take the green one later. I'm going to take the dark blue now because I'm going to need more colors in here. And then we throw out this one. That's a lot of that pattern. Maybe this game is trying to tell me I do want this cat. Fine game, I will consider your request. I can't put those out yet. I keep looking at these. Usually I put my tiles on the left, so let's see. I need one of these two. I think the best way to go right now is put something up here. I think that'd be a good idea. That doesn't mean I need to do this in color and not pattern. Hmm, tough call. And also do it here. I think that might be better and just get a cheaper cat. Because it's nice to go for the expensive ones, but I feel like if I'm going to focus too much on this one, which is going to require a lot of very specific tiles, then I'm probably going to mess up those goals and lose track of those. And because that's actually an objective in this scenario, I'm going to need to make sure to focus on that more. So yeah, it's definitely different from the multiplayer game, because in the multiplayer game you could be like, oh, I want to go focus on cats, I want to focus on goals, I want to focus on buttons, or do a little bit of everything. And no, I have not finished. This is my fourth one. I think I've beaten the first three in a total of either four or five plays. So it's not like I've played this a billion times yet. I have played it quite a bit multiplayer when anyone from my COVID bubble has been visiting. But I haven't played it too much solo yet because whenever I have been playing solo in the past couple weeks, I 
have been trying to get stuff for reviews caught up or I'm playing with friends. Oh, that means this one gets discarded. Oh, well, it's fine. Or I'm, uh, I'm playing with you guys on here. So I might do a solo playthrough like I'm doing now. In which case I'm trying to do different games and not the same one over and over to keep it more interesting. Or I've been hosting play-alongs and stuff like that. Okay, next turn. I'm gonna put this one here. I'm definitely gonna try and do this one in color. And if I put green here, then I already have five out of six colors. And I leave room for another green button and try and work on that goal. I think that's a good call. Now, what, which one of these do I want? Another polka dot could be nice to get a cat in some points. That wouldn't be terribly bad. I think that's alright. Let's go for that one. And it does mean this one gets discarded, but I don't feel like I really need that. I don't have any other ones of those that I'm trying to connect. I already have purple for this goal. I haven't done anything with this goal yet. It might not be smart to be ignoring one of my goals for now, because obviously later on, when there's less open spots in your board, you might be forced to play somewhere. And I could be ruining my goals later on, but we'll see. So as you can see, it is very simple to learn, but it does have a lot going on. So you do kind of have to focus on a bunch of different things at a time. All right, a green one. I'm gonna put a green one here. And ideally I also want something green here, but at least I'll have a little bit of flexibility for later. And let's see which one of these I want. For this I just need light blue, and this is light blue. And then the next turn I could grab another green for the button. I think that's a good idea, so let's do that. And this one gets tossed out. Oh, actually I have another cat here, look. It's three of the little plus type paisley symbol. So I get another cat. Yay, kitties. Hi, Millie. They all have names and the ruble comes with little backstories. And from what I've gathered, they're using the same artwork for different language editions, but they're, they've are they let other people send in pictures of their cats. I know there's a Dutch version coming out and people could submit their cats with little stories and actually uh, get the names changed on these tiles and have your own cat be in the game. Unfortunately, that call went out while I was recovering from COVID, so I did not get to submit any of my kitties. Which is sad, because one of mine is a perfect match for this kitty. So Pollux could have been in this game, but unfortunately is not. Okay. Also, I wonder how the Kickstarter users feel that had their original cats portrayed in the US game that to have their name pasted over and basically have them replaced with somebody else's cat. It's a little tricky. A little bit of a tricky subject, I believe. I'm just gonna put this one here and be done with that. At least there's one less goal I have to worry about. And then I'm gonna grab this one. That means this one gets tossed out. These move down. And we'll grab two new ones. Okay. Good. And like I said, you can only score a cat or a button once for a group. So even if this one is now four, it does not mean if I extend it to six, I get a second cat. I would have had to put this one somewhere else entirely. But I'm not too focused on that, if I'm honest. Um, let's see. If I put this here, I do score another green button. So that would be nice. The other option is putting it either here or there. And working on those goals because I can probably use that color and that pattern again. It will be trickier, but I think that might be worth it. I think I might do that here. I can also just save that decision for later, if I'm honest. That's also possible. I'm just going to put this here and figure it out later. That's two yellows and two polka dots connected, so that seems nice. I do want to go for... Do I want to go for more ferns? Not for this cat, because I'm not going to get four in a straight line. But I might because of the goals. Because if I do put this one next to one of the goals, I might need that pattern again later. And I'm not really using this one for anything, so I feel like this one might be a smarter play. Could be wrong, but we'll see how it works. I'm definitely missing points for not getting more cats, though. If I do this, then it's easier to get more cats. Hmm. Hadn't thought about that entirely yet. Tough choices. 
I'm not gonna go for the front. I am gonna go for this one. And then next turn I can grab that and get some more points. Because I do also need to get 61 points. Yeah. I need all objectives. These set all at least blue. So you can always over accomplish something basically. Just like you need 61 points or more. There are pictures on my on the Nona Nose Games Instagram, by the way, of Pollux posing with this particular tile. In case you were curious. Um, let's see. If I do this, I would get a button. But if I think I've said I was going to put that somewhere else and work on getting more cats. I think I prefer that. And in that case, where do I think it's best to put this? I think I'm going to put it here. And then if I put another light blue here, I get a cat and I work towards getting another button. I think that'd be good. So I'm going to get this one. That means this one gets discarded, which makes me a little sad, but it's all right. And then we get this one and this one. All right. So I think I'm going to eventually grab this and put it here. So get three more dots and oh, that's not a cat yet, but it's almost a cat and work on getting another green button. And then I'm going to put this one here, because then I do have three green for another green button. <gasps> Uh-oh. I can't do this in green buttons anymore. I closed this one of the previous turn. See, this is what I get when I chat with you guys while I'm thinking. I needed three buttons of the same color, and I was going to go for green, but I closed off the green here. Uh-oh. And there's no other green on my edge, so I can technically still do it if I put like three green here, but that's going to be a lot harder. Is there another color I could potentially try to pull this off in? I don't think so. I might have just really, really screwed myself over. Uh-oh. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. We're definitely going to try and put three more green out there. And that does mean I probably need to not put this here, but put this here. So I at least get one green button and then try to use this one for another group of three somewhere else. That's probably going to have to be my bet, but that's not what I was going to do. I was going to put this here and use this to complete a triple like that. And if I did it that way, then I would have also had three green ones surrounded by this. And I felt like that was going to be a stronger play, but I don't think that's possible anymore. Okay, I'm going to need this for sure. That means this one gets discarded. And yeah, I could, so I did end up doing what you wanted me to do, but it's still only two green buttons and I'm gonna need three. And I closed off this one and this one, so that means I'm now gonna need three more green tiles, well, two including this one. So that's definitely less ideal, at least there's another green coming out, so I'm happy with that. Um, Alright, I'm gonna put this one here. I am going to try and give myself a little bit of wiggle room and see if I can pull it off in another color as well. Because technically I can also do three light blue here, three light blue there and three light blue there. So I'm going to try and give myself a little bit of wiggle room. Alright, this one goes here. This one gets discarded. And of course I still also need to complete all of these goals. Tough choices. Alright. Let's see. I probably do want to put this one here because then I have a cat for... Oh, that's not true. I still need a fort. That's okay. There will be dots later on. So I could potentially do that. Anyway, that works towards a cat. It gives me a button right now, which is always good because that's from points. And it gives me three of one color. So I could potentially work towards getting this one done in colors. I don't think that's half bad. Let's go for that. I'm going to pick up another green, obviously, because I said I'm going to focus on green and light blue. That means this one gets discarded. We're going to grab some more tiles. And that's another green. So that does mean I can do it in green now. And I'm going to have to see where I would like to place those three green ones. If I put them here, then that means I can't do it in color for this one, because I can't have three of the same color. But it would have put another green here, so it would have helped do this one in color. So that was kind of a tough call. But I think I'm going to make another green area up here. If I do one, two, three green up here, then I can put two green and two blue next to this. And I just need two different colors, so that seems feasible. And if I put this one here or there, I get another cat as well in the process. So that seems like it would be a good choice, right? 
let's go for that. And let's see, I'm gonna put this one here. I might actually need polka dots later, but I need a green one more. So I'm going to toss out the polka dots, grab another green. Oh, I got, I connect, did connect four polka dots. I forgot the edge. Thank you. I totally did not notice that. That makes this one a little easier. <laughs> and yeah, you were right, Lycan. I was doing intense puzzling, so I saw your comment later, but thank you. Sometimes it's easy to overlook something. Especially if you're rambling out loud. If I'm just playing and not live streaming, it's definitely easier. This is a whole lot of multitasking, guys. Okay, so I am going to put this one either there or there. doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to put that here. That's another tree. So that's another kitty cat. I think points-wise I'm looking alright. It's mostly going to be trying to complete the goals. There we go. So I'm gonna need something in a, a color I don't yet have and another color I don't yet have. Or I can also do it in pattern if I would prefer. So I do have a little bit of wiggle room because these are two of the same pattern, two of the same color. So basically I'm kind of on track for doing this double. I'm gonna put this one either here or here depending on how the goal plays out so that I will have a third green button and I will accomplish something. And then I will have to see what I'm gonna need up here. I have three of one color. So if I do want to do this in color, I'm going to need something and something else. So I, can, I could go for another green with a yellow and that way I would be sure to have that. I think the green one is definitely a safe bet to just get another one of those. I don't feel like I have a strong need for that purple one that's going to get discarded. And yeah, I was commenting on you for the puzzling, but I did see Jojo was the one that uh, pointed out that I missed something. So thanks a lot for that, both of you. Okay, more green things, and now I have to see what's here and determine which one of these will go where. If I want to give myself a shot at doing this in either pattern or color, it might be safer to put the green polka dots here, because then I have two and two of this, in, so it will work for both color and pattern, I believe. I think that could be a smart bet. It won't help me gain any other cats or buttons or whatever so yellow would be more ideal there so maybe i want to save this choice for later i do probably want to put this one up here somewhere the question is would i put it here or here if i put it here that means this is gonna have to be done in pattern i can no longer do it in colors and these are both that same pattern so that wouldn't be ideal so i think it would be better to do that here at least that means I get the button, so that'd be great. And then I'm gonna grab something yellow, because I said that might help me with both this one and this one and buttons. So it does seem like it would be good to do yellow. I can also get yellow the next turn and do this one now. But I don't think I really need that purple for anything. I feel like I prefer the yellow, because there's ways to score buttons. All right. And now I'm really going to have to plot before I place the next one. And let's see. I need ideally two of a color in two of the exact same tile, basically. So like two yellow flowers or two whatever. That's not going to happen. So this is probably going to be double. But I'm fine with it being singular. In which case it can be done in pattern. So if I put a flower here next and after that I can just put any other pattern there. And this one could also work for that. So that's good. And if I want to do this one in color, I kind of just need the green and the yellow, so it's already fine. And if I want to do it in pattern, I need either one of these again, and I cannot add any new patterns. That means I think I'm just going to do that in color, honestly. I think it would work like this. Yeah, I think it does. I think that's a good idea. I think I figured it out, guys. So I'm going to do this here now. That means I have two of a pattern, two of a pattern, and one of a pattern. So I need one other pattern. So basically either one of these is going to do. And then here I have three of a color and two of a color, and I need another color. So I'm also going to put a yellow here. So basically one of these goes here, and one of these goes here. They would both complete a goal and score me an additional button, and therefore gain me some extra points. Hi, Wim. So yeah, that does look like the best choice for me at the moment, so... And it doesn't really matter what goes here. Oh, actually, that's not true. Light blue would have scored me a point. 
But there's no light blue here, so in that case it really doesn't matter what I draft for that corner spot. It's not gonna get me anything. So we're just gonna place this up here. And that's gonna score me another yellow button. And then I draft any one of these, and like I said, it really doesn't matter. So we'll just grab that one. This one goes out. My board is kind of singular looking color wise. I definitely managed to draft a whole bunch of stuff in the same color. And there's still no light blue, so that sucks, but it's alright. And this one goes here. I get another yellow button. And then I draft something else, and then I would don't really need to refill because after that I just play my final turn, so I put one more thing up here. And that completes the game. I used to play Stone Age on, on Board Game Arena when I was really new to board gaming, but I there's a lot more lot of worker placement. Wim said he's just playing that on BGA in case you're not following the chat. But yeah, I used to do that, but I got I, I definitely have grown bored of that one. Alright, so my board is completed. Let me move all of the discarded tiles out. And this is where you can see that I was really focused on particular colors, because there's a lot of pink and purple in here that I did not pick up. There we go. So that's all of the discarded ones. I can put those back in here already. And then we can tally up the board for this for this scenario and see if I've managed to win. Woohoo! I think I did, so that's good. I want it right on here, but I hope it will work. Is this tablecloth is kind of soft, so I hope I don't break it. No, no, scenario four. So we'll start with the goals. I have done this one in color and absolutely not in pattern because these are three of the same. But I've done it in color. I've done this one in color. Didn't I? Uh-oh. No, I think I fucked it up. Oh no, I did it in pattern. That's okay. Two, two, one, one. I was like, I did not do it in color, but I did it in pattern. So that one is also singularly completed. And this one I did in color. Three, two, one. These are kind of identical. It's interesting. So 17 plus 5 is 22. And I think I got sidetracked while answering Wim. So yeah, I, I don't really like Stone Age anymore. There's a whole lot of worker placement games I like a whole lot better. Stone Age for me is too light for the amount of time it takes to complete a game. Obviously it's much quicker on BGA, but there's still a lot of things I would rather play over that. It's a good intro worker placement though, but I feel like at this point there's a lot of newer intro worker placement games that work at least as well and that I would enjoy more. Like a Little Town by Yellow, not to be confused with Tiny Towns, which is an entirely different game. And I will score points for the cats. So this one is 7, this is 5 and this is 3. You can flip them upside down to easily see the points. I don't think that's pretty, so I'm not doing that. So this is 10, 16, plus 5, 21. It's gonna be close, guys. And then buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six buttons. So that's 18. I think I barely made it. So this is one, yeah, 61. So I barely pulled it off. I managed to do 61. I have three buttons of the same color. And I have managed to uh, do each goal in blue. So I beat the scenario. Woohoo! Exactly. All right, let's move on to the next one. So what I'm going to do is put these cats away. Obviously the reset is going to be a little boring to watch, but I'll try to be quick about it. By the way, these do not come with the game. They're little silicone cupcake holders that I bought online and really like as token holders. Let's see, these two I'm going to need again for the next game. I don't need this one again. I need this one. And then I'm going to need to re replace all of the kitty cats. Uh, let's see. This one gets replaced by Kelly. There we go. I'll put it a little neater in a second. Tibbet gets replaced by Coconut, which I believe is on the back of this one. It is. There we go. Coconut. And then finally we will have to add Sierra. And this is Sierra for you guys. Yeah, they're meant for baking. You can bake teeny tiny cupcakes in them, but they're great for holding tokens as well. 
and they go nicely with my uh, BGG card holders and bit trays, which are but those are a lot bigger, but they're also made of silicone, so it's all nice, matchy, matchy. All right, these are a little less neat than they were the previous game, but hey, it will work. Who cares if it works, right? It's not stupid if it works. It's a phrase my group of friends use an awful lot. And they're not wrong. Alright, so that resets this bit. And now I have to get all of these sorted out. And obviously put that down a little neater. In the meantime, let me figure out what the goals are, guys. So the goals for the next one is again completing each goal in blue. Well, at least we got some practice in that. It says we need the same type of cat three times. So obviously that's going to be easier in Kelly because she has an easier requirement than the more difficult ones. But I also need at least 62 points. So in addition to scoring the same get three times, I would either need a lot of buttons or instead of going for the cheaper get three times, I need to uh, pick one of the higher scoring ones instead. Or just do a little bit of everything and hopefully not feel miserably. These get reshuffled as well, so unfortunately they're double-sided, so it's hard to shuffle them blind. I would also need to put them out in a way that you guys can actually see the requirements. So Sierra says six or more connected, Coconut is five or more, and Sierra is three, but they like Millie was that we had the previous game, but in this case the three of them need to be in a triangle. The first time I switched from Millie to Kelly in a multiplayer game, we all completely forgot about the shape and completely scored that wrong. All right, shuffling these while not actually looking at anything. Let's see what we get now. I think that's different than the way it previously was, so that's good. Or at least I hope it is. And if it's not, I no longer remember, so we'll deal with it. Let me take a sip of water and figure out where I want to put goals, and then we can continue with the second scenario. Well, actually, scenario number five in the game box, but the second one that I'll be playing through during this live stream. And if you're just wondering in here now and you need more rules explanations while I'm doing that, just let me know and I can always run through the full set of rules again. I'll probably ramble a bit about that while I'm playing anyway. But for now I first have to figure out how I want to meet the objective of the current solo scenario which says you want the same cat three times. This one is obviously going to be tempting. Oh, I still have a tile out here. But because it's a lot of points as well, but it could be really tricky to pull off. This one would be easier. And because you can use the edge of your board, sometimes it really matters where you can where you want to place certain gold tiles. I'm trying to see if I can connect the edge nicely to get this one to score a few times. Like for example, this one is already in there twice, so if I put three more here, I would have five already. So that can be a nice one, and that would mean I have two of something running along the side of this, so it seems nice to put this one here. Where do I want to put another flowery cat? Although, if I do want to go for that one three times, I also need to do it in the middle. I don't think I can do that that many times. I think I do need to go for this one. I don't think it's feasible to do this one three times. It's definitely not possible to do this one three times. I mean, technically, you have 24 empty spots and you can use the edge. So 24, 6 times 3 is 18. So technically, but the chances of you actually getting that many of one type is obviously not great. Oh wait, I don't need to do it in the same scenario. So if I do this in flowers, I can also do it in fern somewhere else. One, two, three, that's five fern. And that would mean three ferns here. So that would mean a triple. This has a quadruple, but that's close enough. And then the different one is going to be here. And this is going to be the one that's going to be really annoying with needing to score a cat three times. That one might uh, get me into trouble, but we'll see. At least I know what I would ideally like to accomplish. And now let's see if the tiles cooperate. I'm going to grab these out of field of vision so that I can properly shuffle it with my hand up in there. Hi Dot Yoda. Good to see you. 
I'm currently doing the scenario number 5 from the Coleco game and it's the second one I'm doing today. I started with scenario 4 but I've managed to beat that exactly. I got the exact target score and I managed to do all of the objectives. So now we're moving on to this one and in this case my target score is 62 or more points. One type of cat at least 3 times and all of the goals on blue. Hi slivers! It's getting busy here. One two, three for the market, and then two for my hand. Uh, sure, if you want. I don't think I've locked the one I played yesterday as well. The one I played with, uh, with boss, so I should probably figure that out too. And aw, thanks, Slivers. I'm actually live three times today. I'll be here for like another 45 minutes probably to do this scenario, maybe one more depending on if I beat it. And then at 7pm I'm doing Karuba and at 7.30 I'm doing Cartographers. So busy day today. And I actually have scheduled either solo playthroughs or playalongs up until next Sunday. It is possible that I'm going to need to cancel something on the day of a stream if my chronic pain is acting up again. Winter time is not my friend. But... I figured if I schedule a whole bunch of them, then even if I do need to cancel like one or two, then we would still have a whole bunch of activity going on here. So, should be fun. And yeah, I definitely am busy today. Especially cartographers tends to take me like two hours because I doodle an awful lot. I'm going to try and do it in 90 minutes today though and draw with a little less detail. Because I know some people plan on attending all of my streams today, so they're already here long enough. And now I have to be careful to actually focus on my objectives because it's so tempting to be like, I'll plop this down here because it will be two dots and two light blue, two dark blues. And we're going to need three dots and then three dark blues will be a button. So that looks tempting, but I was going to try and work on the coconut cat and that's absolutely not helpful for the coconut cat. So we're not going to do that. We're going to start up here, which connects two flowers and two light blue. So three of a color will score you a button and some points. And cats need particular patterns in particular shapes or amounts. In the solo mode, you can... Oh, Rush MD is nice. I still need to... I really need to make sure to catch one of your streams one of these days. I would really love to watch you play at some point as well. I know you have a pretty good taste in games. Okay, so refilling my hand. I'm gonna grab another flower because I was trying to focus on these two patterns for this game. And then in the solo mode, the one that's furthest down the bottom, bottom gets discarded to represent a multiplayer game. And then I refill so that there's again three tiles in the market and then I play my next turn. This continues until the board is entirely filled up. And you do not have to place adjacent, but I'm going to do that anyway. Because it just looks like it makes sense to me. So I'm putting another flower here. And again, that's also too green connected, so that can help me get a button in the future. I do need to make sure, make sure I sort of work on a backup plan so that if uh, this one doesn't pan out I can get the same cat three times somewhere else. In which case I'm probably going to need to go for Kelly. So I need to figure out how I can complete Kelly. And I would need those two patterns for that. So I'm going to grab this one. So I have two of these now. That does mean I already need to figure out where I want to place those. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I want to focus on my goals first then. I also need to make sure I get those completed. I'll grab this one and I am going to discard the polka dots and hope it works out. Because if I want to do the polka dots in this shape and I want to use the edge of my board, I kind of have to do it here. And I want to leave this open for this pattern. If I do it here, it won't become that shape because there's pieces of edge in the way. And same goes for this one and this one. And if you play with a different color player board, the edge will look a little different. And of course, these get shuffled as well. So... In this case, Kelly is a, the, the dot polka dots being at Kelly is actually going to make it quite hard on my board. Oh, I think I did that wrong. I think I have to slide this down first. So yeah, Kelly's going to make it... Kelly's polka dots are going to make it hard for me to get Kelly three times on the board with how my edge is looking. So it would be a good idea to, uh, to not focus on that. So I think I did make the right call trying to focus on coconut, but it is going to be hard. So I might need to retry this scenario because the patterns 
combined with the edge of my board are not the best possible combination for pulling this off. I'm gonna put this one here so I can get a button because I do need to get points from something at some point. And then I'm gonna grab this one because I don't feel like I need stripes. These are both hard patterns and I might as well stick with the same one then because that would put three of these together as well as two pink. So that seems like a good choice. Ah, your previous stream was in Dutch and not in English. That's definitely nice if you stream in two languages Dutch Yoda to uh, show the same game of twice, one in each language. I really like that. That's great of you. Alright, so I'm going to put this one here like I'd already figured out. And now these patterns are finally coming up, which is great because that was something I was going to want to try for, I said. And I was going to try and connect those up here. I'm obviously going to put the dark blue one here. I'm going to put the yellow up here then. There we go. And now I want that one. I'd already figured that out. Sometimes choices are kind of obvious to you. Not because they're necessarily obviously the best choice. But just because you had some sort of plan and tiles are working in your favor. And sometimes it definitely takes me a lot longer to figure out what move I want to make. But this wasn't, uh, this wasn't a tough call in this case. Okay, do I feel like I want or need either one of these? Not necessarily. I do need to figure out where I want to put the third one of the coconut cats, if that's still what I'm going to try for. Because this is going to be one and this is going to be one. And I'm going to need another one. That's going to be hard, because these aren't really here yet. What would be the best place to do that? Probably here with this flower one, because I can't really use these vines. They're really likely to run into those. I could do either, though. But they're not currently here. So I'm still trying, kind of in the back of my mind trying to see if I can pull off Kelly. But I don't think I can. I don't think so. I do think I just need to try all out for this one. And either we fill the scenario or we won't. But I don't think Kelly can be done with this. With, with my current board. I mean I could have just done little groups of three somewhere. And then I could have had Kelly three times without using the edge of my board. But then I don't think I would have come anywhere near my 62 target scores. Which is another one of the objectives for the scenario. So yeah, we can basically just ignore that now. I can put this here then for a button. Do I need any of these? I think we're going to go for this and try and go for one of the high scoring cats. That would help with points. It seems like a good idea. <laughs> Wim said he's always losing Stone Age, so... He's, pro he's just posting score from a game he finished on BGA. I'm going to assume you were not the highest one then. I know starving your people in Stone Age is a very, very valid strategy. Which feels so anti-thematic anti that it bothers me. It's like if you're going to... I, no, not every game needs to be super thematic. Obviously this is also quite abstract. But if you're going to try and do that then... If you do want to put a team on that... Especially if it, since it's an intro level worker placement, if you make a rule that's so... Or if there's like a strategy that really doesn't match the theme of the game, I feel like that might actually make it harder to teach it to people. Which isn't great if you're trying to go for something that's good for new gamers. Because thematic sense will make it easier to teach. I'm going to put this here instead of there. Because if I want to do six, I'm going to need to extend it anyway. And this way I can try and get three pink and three purple maybe. In a perfect universe. Oh, actually, no. I needed to keep this area clear for those two. I'm just going to leave it at my original spot. And yeah, Wim does win a lot of games. So apparently now everybody knows if you want to win, you just need to play Stone Age. It's been a while for me. I do know I figured it out at some point. But it's been too long for me to really remember. If you would be really, really, really interested in knowing, I'm sure I can figure it out again and play it again. But I'd rather play something else. I'm sure you would too, Wim. So let's play something else instead. Okay. So I need to refill my hand with one of these options. There's still not any of these out there, which is really unfortunate for what I'm trying to do here. So let's see if, my, if it matters for my goals, what I pick up here. This one is going to need to be 2, 2, 1, 1. So I'm just going to need another pattern. This one is technically already another pattern. And ideally in another color. Actually, I'm going to put this one here. 
I think that'd be even better. So I need two colors and two patterns here. And this one is a different color, so I guess I'll do that. And then this one will get discarded. And this one gets to slide down. You didn't play it with me because it never made its way into my collection, Lycan. I played it with Carline in the past on BGA and we didn't like it enough to actually pick it up, so... Okay, I said I was going to put this one here, so let's just do that. And look, there's flowers and ferns. We're taking the flowers now. Goodbye, polka dots. Nobody cares about you. And then let's stop trying to block my field of vision and very counterintuitively lose my left hand. I tend to just do everything right-handed. Not the best call in this case. Ooh, more flowers. And more ferns, for that matter. I think I'm going to put these new flowers up here and make a new flower group and then just put this one here because then I have the five I need. And then I can get yellow to yellow for another button maybe later. So let's do that. Goodbye pink polka dots. I did that this previous turn as well. And like I said, if you use the lower lock rules, each tile is only in the game twice. So that means no more pink polka dots in this game. And I really don't care. Alright, ferns. So this is kind of nice. This will help with both the goal and cats and buttons and everything. So I now have five ferns. So I get my first coconut kitty. I have three dark blue buttons, which I already had, but I forgot to put them here. I have three yellows, so I get a yellow button. And then I grab this one because that's the pattern we were going for. All right. Oh man, this is mean. I said I was going to do more flowers here, but now it's trying to say, no, you want the ferns, because that's already three ferns. Hmm. I spy an even bigger problem with that. If I do that with two purples, then I would screw over that goal, and that's one of the other objectives that I need to complete all of them in blue. So, that sucks. Now I really regret not just placing that here and trying to go long term instead of short term. Because otherwise I could have just put both of the purple vines, uh, ferns here and there would be no problem. That's unfortunate. Okay, well we have these now. So we do have another coconut kitty, which is great. And then we, I am going to grab another one of these. And I might actually not get that one next turn because I think it's going to ruin my goals. But we'll see what else will come up. Ah, see, that's better. And then I can try and do this one in colors. Okay, then maybe I can pull it off. Yeah, the third coconut is going to go up here in either flowers or ferns, depending on what the tiles will tell me. So I'm trying to put this bottom area so I can put flowers there and then maybe the top one for ferns. Because I was going to go for flowers, but they keep giving me ferns. And I'm trying to see if I can do the ferns without messing up this goal. Oh, Slivers, I'm glad you managed to find a game that you enjoy solo. Okay, back to this. Focus. I'm gonna have to put this one here. Oh, no, actually here. And then the pink one can go there. There we go. Uh, I had already figured out... Actually, one, two, three, four, five. I can also put another fern here and do it that way and work my way down. In that case, I can use another purple. Oh, well, all right then. I figured it out. Now we just need more of these to show up, but I think I figured it out. And hopefully that's going to work without messing up any of the goals. I should double check that in a minute. Ooh, flowers. Options. I like that. All right, that's great. We're still gonna ignore this. It might be one that I just discard at the end of the game. So I said if I put this here, that might actually work. Oh no, I can't, it's still, it's still here. One, two, three, four, five. It would have to go all the way down here. Here it would work. The question is, does that work with this one? I have this pattern twice, I have this pattern once. No, it wouldn't. If I put ferns in both of these, then I would mess up this one. Although I suppose I can do this one in color as well. I suppose that works. It's a lot of wishful thinking at this point. 
It's possible, though. We'll figure it out. Okay. I do think I want to grab this one to give myself a chance at an extra coconut or a button, but I also really want the flowers. This is hard, guys. Hmm. I can also just not figure this out yet and save it for later and just dump something in here now. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I can do that. Something useless is probably gonna end up there, but let's not tr start throwing stuff away yet. So I kind of want all three of these and that's not gonna happen because something is gonna get discarded. And I will catch up on the chat box in a little bit. I really need to think here for a second. So putting this here would be nice because it gets me a button and it gets me three flowers. And the problem is if I put it here, then I already have two purple, which means I cannot continue any more flowers or any more vines here. So I would rather do this in color, in which case the purple needs to go somewhere in this corner. So either one of these look like they would be better than this one. And I think this... But one of these is going to get discarded. So I need to pick which one of these I would favor. And I think I would favor this one. Because it can help me with different colors here. It can help me with flowers. And it could help me with a button. So I think this would be the most versatile. And it does mean the fern will get discarded. Alright. Now let me catch up on you guys. And yeah. I suppose that's a choice. I don't really play a whole lot of video games anymore. I'm migraine sensitive. And I have a little bit of a balance disorder. So fast moving graphics tend to suck. It's one of the reasons I also don't use a whole bunch of tabletop or tabletop simulator. The 3D environment for me is pretty straining to use. I much prefer to play games tabletop. But yeah, I, do, I might occasionally play a video game, but I definitely favor time away from screens. I will use my screens to host and stream and do stuff for you guys. But other than that, if I use my... Uh, and of course, I do written reviews and stuff like that. So I feel like I already spent quite a bit of time behind the screen... I also like to watch a good show or a good movie every once in a while. So for my other hobbies, I prefer them to be off screen. So I like to do a lot of creative stuff and I like to read a lot of books and I like to play a lot of tabletop games. Yeah, it does sound like a nice game. Okay, back to thinking. Flowers. Okay, these are kind of useless. We do not want polka dots. We probably want more flowers. And those would probably go somewhere down here. I think I'm going to put this one here. That gives me another color here and another pattern here. It connects the flowers and it means I could still connect this in blue. So that seems like it would be the best color right now. And now let's see what we refill and hopefully that will be something nice. Okay. And that's more ferns. This game is still not really agreeing with me. That's okay. I'm going to put this one here, I think. Oh, no, I can't. I don't think I can. I need to do this one in pattern. Uh-oh. I'm in so much trouble, guys. Could I do that with the ferns, then? I don't think I can do this in flowers, guys. I think it was the ways to pick up this one. That means I'm just going to have to put this here. I probably screwed myself out of points. I don't think this was good, but... It's survivable, I guess. Because if I put it here, I'm going to mess up the goal. So this needs to go somewhere. Oh, actually, that's not true. I can still do flowers here in a color I don't yet have. But it cannot go anywhere here or here. So many places stuff cannot go. Why is there nothing it can go to? Uh, let's just grab another one of these. That means this one goes out. And this one slides down. And two new ones. There we go. This one seems like a good one to put in either one of these spots because it gives me a new color again. This means I'm not going to be able to do this in pattern. But I don't think I'm going to get a third cat if I try and do it in pattern. Regardless of which cat, even if I went for the easier one. And this one looks like it's going to be colors then, but I think it can still be pattern too. It's 2-2-1, two, two, so something else goes here. And uh, pattern-wise, it's also 2-2-1, two, two, so... That one is looking kind of alright. This one needs more ferns as well though. So that's tricky. Because this needs to be 4 and 2. That sucks. 
And there's already three of these, but I could suppose I can also try and pull this one off in color, in which case we need more yellow and more dark blue. So I'm probably gonna draft a dark blue one then, because it doesn't look like I need to do this. I don't think there's anything else that needs to go here. And obviously the two patterns I'm trying to collect are currently not out there, so I think that would be the best call. And that's more flowers. Oh, that's a color I already have, so that's not gonna solve my goals. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we'll put this here then. That way I'm now 3 for 2 on this little circle, so that means I'm gonna need another dark blue to go here. Because if I put flowers here, it looks interesting to put the flowers here, because then I have the three cats, but then I could never complete this goal in blue, and that was another one of the objectives. This is a tricky scenario, you guys. I don't think it matters which one of these I grab. I don't think any of those are going to help me at this point. If I do fail, I still want to lock my score, even if it's a failed scenario, so I probably want pink for there, but other than that, I don't think it matters. Does it matter for this one? Nope. I was originally maybe trying for a Sierra, but it didn't work. And that kind of got in the way of my coconut anyway. So I don't know why I ever thought that was a good idea, because it's stupid. But that's okay. I'll just grab this, because it looks nice. I mean, it looks interesting to grab the flowers, but the flowers aren't actually good. You know what? I will grab the flowers, actually, because... If I fail, then I can at least say I completed part of the objectives. Because I can then have a third kitty. <gasps> That's great! Oh man, that looks like it's going to solve stuff. That's amazing. Oh, also I need all of the different colors here. I should have grabbed the pink one. Uh-oh. That means I'm now going to have to discard the pink instead of this. Well, that was stupid. I keep making... Choices that I regret like two seconds later. At least I get a button here, so that's some points. Hello, button. Okay. So. If I would get this and put it here, then I have five. So I will have coconut. And I will have this one done in color. So that's good. I will work on getting this one done in color, which is also good. If I put it here, I only have three ferns out of the five. So I would need more ferns. But it does give me the dark blue, I need to complete this. So I think this does need to go here. Because if I put it here, then I'm no longer allowed to put dark blue here. So I would not be able to do this goal. I actually almost messed it up. If I put that here, I would have done these goals. But I would have messed up that one permanently. Because it's already impossible to do this in pattern. So I'm going to need to do that in color. Okay, so definitely need this one and it needs to go there. And after that, I'm going to need a whole lot of luck to actually pull this off. I don't think this is happening, guys. Woo! That might... Oh, no, it doesn't. I was like, oh, that might help. But I lied. I don't need that in green. I need that in another color. <gasps> that might fix it, though. Remember, I said I needed other colors. Flowers will still do it as well. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so this goes here. Great. That still doesn't get me the third coconut, but... And it also, like I said before, it will not never get me a second button. This is now five dark blue. A six dark blue does not get another button. It's just this group is three... At least three dark blue buttons, so it's a button. And after that, it does not increase anymore. But this, putting this here, gets me a third coconut, which is amazing. Because I will then have five flowers. And I will also have a color I didn't have here yet. So that's great. And that means this one is going to need to be pink. So basically, if we get something pink on the next one or two goes, we're good. I'm still not sure if we're going to be there, get there points-wise. Because I don't really have a whole lot of buttons on my board. But it's at least worth a shot. Okay. This one is going to go here. Yay! Dirt Coconut Kitty! That's amazing. And then I think I'm going to put yellow here so I can get another button. Because I need pink and this is not pink. And now hopefully one of the two next ones I grab is going to be pink. Fingers and toes crossed. Oh, it's pink! Look what I did, guys. It's pink. Oh, that makes me very happy. I think at least I have a shot at this. I don't know if I have enough points, but it looks like all of the other objectives would be good now. So 
I'm gonna draft this, and after that I'm not gonna refill because nobody cares, it's the last turn. There we go, done. Great. I don't, I don't know what you said I should be doing, but I have a button, so I'm good with it. Ah, you wanted me to put purple here. No, no, don't do that. I need this in six different colors. Bad plan. Let's not do that. All right, let's see if I made it. Let's move this slightly to the side so I have room to write this down for you guys. Nona scenario five. So goals, let's double check. I've got this one in four versus two in color only, not in pattern. Although I got quite close in pattern. I do have four ferns, so close, but no cigar. I've got this one in color and absolutely not in pattern because it's three versus three, but that's all right. And this one is also going to be color two, two, one, one. I don't think it's going to be pattern. No, because I have three of something and there's no three of something on here, but it's going to be 22 for the goals. Oh. There's a bot! It had been a while since we had a bot show up. Why can Ben hammered it before he even spotted it? Well done. So I only have three coconut kitties. I don't think I managed to do any other kitties. Which makes sense because you need most of your board to pull this off. But that's 7 times 3, that's 21. And we can already see I'm not gonna make it guys. Because we can see I don't have a lot of buttons. And last time this was my score and I got to 61. And I'm gonna need to get to 62 this time. So... Meep, meep, meep. Not happening. One, two, three, four buttons. Four times three is 12. So I'm gonna land at 55 out of the 62 I needed. Aww. But I am proud that other than the points, I did manage to get the objectives. I managed to get the kitty three times. I managed to do the objectives. I feel like maybe I, uh, in order to pull this one off, you either need the objectives in double or, a, and, well, actually, I think you might, actually, in order to pull it off. I don't think that's a might. I think you, that might be a must. But we'll see. More experimenting needed. And I definitely feel like I would need to do this kitty three times. And hopefully get another one of these. Because even if I had done this one instead of coconut, that would have only been six more points. And that would have been 61. And she would make my objectives a whole lot harder. So... I feel like the way to go might be getting this cat three times and completing all of these on double. And then maybe getting one of the more expensive cats along the way. But who knows? I could be wrong. I'm gonna need to get dinner before the next game. I, I wanted to retry either this one or if I'd beaten it, do another one. But looking at the time, I do want to wrap up in the next 25 minutes. And this scenario is definitely harder than the first one we played today. So I don't think I'm gonna have enough time for that. And uh, you know what? If I if I stay in if I do the next one in under 45 minutes, I would have one hour for dinner. I can probably do that. Sure. Let's give it another go if you guys still got time to stick around with me. Because if nobody's cheering on me on, I'm gonna give up. Just kidding. I would totally play solo games even without streaming on Twitch. But in this case, it's definitely nice to have some support because these things are bloody hard. I definitely like the challenge they provide. I also really love how the rulebook comes with achievements for multiplayer games as well. Alright, I'm going to shuffle these and then based on what I've shuffled, maybe shuffle these around as well. The nice thing is that clean up and retrying a scenario is quicker than putting out a new scenario, so... Yeah, I didn't know what time your dinner was like. Huh? I figured you, your dinner might actually be ready soon-ish. Why are people private messaging me on Discord? Be patient, people. No. That was not. That was nothing that could not wait. So, there we go. Ah, I'm glad you guys are sticking around with me. Always good motivation. I definitely wouldn't mind at some point just spending an entire day just streaming this and seeing if we can maybe do all 10 scenarios in a row on the same day. I don't mean just playing 10 games of this, I mean actually beating all 10 of them. I wonder if that's doable. But I probably won't try that until I've at least managed to beat each of them separately. So that I can get some sort of an idea of whether that might be feasible. 
And yeah, fair enough, Lycan. Alright, so let's see what we've got now. Like I said, I think trying to get Kelly multiple times might be a good call. So let's see if that's better with this current board. Let's see where these are at. This one would be possible. It's not possible here, but it's possible here as well. And here as well. So that's already good with just this pattern. And then if I try and then this pattern would also be possible in some places. So I feel like this is a really good combination with my current board edge. So we can definitely try and get Kelly three times. That'd be good. All right. And I think it would be best to move this one here because this one isn't a very good edge for Kelly. And then maybe I can complete this in double, which would obviously be a whole lot of points. So, okay. So I think the goal is going to, the goal is obviously still all of these ones. I'm going to try and get as many Kellys as possible, even if it's more than three times. And either and ideally get some of these double but if i can't maybe make sure i get a whole bunch more buttons than i did the previous go around i think i'm gonna try i'm gonna for this uh, attempt ignore the two more expensive cats pretty much completely because i think trying to go for them might make the goals harder and the goals would score me more if i go from single to double this one's already seven and this one is five so these are more but they might make my goals much harder to do. So I think I'm gonna go for buttons, double goals and Kelly. And it might not be possible. Maybe I do need the more expensive cats to pull it off. Because obviously these were 7 points each. And I was already quite a few points short. So if I drop those down to 3 points. Then I would have had 12 less points the previous game. I would only have had like, what is it? 42, 43? Out of the 62 I actually need. So... I could be wrong, it might not be feasible to ignore the two more expensive cats, but I want to see if it's how close I can get with that strategy. And maybe I'll accidentally still get a coconut or something, but it's not something I'm going to be focusing on. Alright, let's see what I've got. Let me mix this up a little bit better. There we go. So, let's give it a go. We were going to try and do a lot of Kellys and a lot of buttons. Oh, I still have to figure out which one of these I'm going to put where. I think I had to do that before I drew stuff. But I already knew I was going to put two ferns here or here. And I don't think it mattered which one. Oh, no, it did. No, it didn't. Because this one isn't useful. And here it would be two ferns. I think it's all right like this. I think putting these two close together is better because this one requires more different things and this one requires all different things. So I do think this might be the ideal layout. Okay, good. I'm going to put this one here so I can get both a button and a shape if possible, hopefully. And we mostly wanted these two patterns and if that wasn't possible, uh, but it is, then I'm probably going to go for colors and focus on the buttons. But I think this will be all right. Slide this down. And there we go. Okay. And what would be the best place to start putting this? Where can I even get this one? Not here. Ah, here. This would be good. And I can do that either here or here. I don't think that matters too much. Because either way, this one is going to be green after that. So it seems better here because then with yellow, I can maybe also get the yellow. Fine. So if Kelly fails, I can still get a button there. I think that'd be better. And now let's look at these. The problem is next turn I'm going to have to place either this or one of these. And I don't really care for any of those options with what I'm currently doing. I suppose I could start working on this. A little edge up here. In which case, I think the blue one here might be kind of alright, because then I can get three dark blue like that. I think that'd be good. I think that'd be good. Let's do that. Let's just grab that. And maybe I'll accidentally get a very expensive cat this way if they keep giving me flowers. Okay. This one is going to need all different colors. 
and ideally also all different patterns but that's already looking less likely so i think i'm just gonna focus on colors for that if i put yellow here then i could potentially get a button here as well this is gonna be yellow this is gonna be green this is gonna be dark blue and then i can get some buttons that way i think that's the goal right now anyway and that means i could make that one green as well i might accidentally end up with a flower cat this way while working on doing this in color because this is already three colors and it connects to that one so let's not have that oh that's a fourth okay i might actually get a more expensive cat which will make it more likely for me to hit my target score so i'm not unhappy with this yet okay so we're putting this here that gets me a button i think i would like to pick up that one because we still don't have the patterns I was focusing on to get Kelly. And let's see something else. There we go. And now I'm going to put something else up here. Let's just make that one purple then. I do need to prioritize that. Even though the pink looks nice because that's one of the few colors I will still need there. But pattern over color in this case because I need a whole lot of cats so I do think that's the better choice when in doubt there we go now I'm gonna put this one here and that puts me at one two three four five of these cats already out of the six I would need for that and out four out of the six colors for that one hey that's the next color I need well all right then I suppose sure I'll take that So far this one is less brain burning than the previous attempt. I didn't do any math up front though to see if it would be possible to actually meet the target goal with the strategy I'm currently using, but we'll see. I'm gonna put this up here. There we go, and that's six of these, so I now have a Sierra. I hope with what I've been doing I didn't block out any of these anywhere they needed to go. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well that's great. I'm very happy about that. Um, I needed more of those, so let's do that. I do need a light blue though to complete this at some point, but I think this is the first light blue I'm discarding. No, it's not. It's the second, but hopefully there will be more of those. And there we already have one of those, so that's good. Okay, another fern. I'm going to put that here. And that's going to help with both this, and it gets me my first Kelly cat. There we go, and this one is going to go up here with that one later on. I don't need this color in particular, I don't need this pattern in particular, so we'll just grab that. And let's see. Okay. Um... I'm gonna put that one there, I think. I can also put another one here, I suppose. Oh, that would put it next to a yellow. Maybe I prefer that. Like a yellow here, and that's too yellow, and then this green one can go there. Because that will help with the both color and pattern. That looks better. Let's go for that. And this one gets discarded, because it was the bottom one. The chat box went all very silently. I see all of my viewers are still there, but... Everyone is apparently caught up in my super speedy playing. Because really, compared to the previous game, this is going insanely quick. Alright, let's put that here. There we go. That's another Kelly. I need more of this pattern, probably. Well, actually, not necessarily. I mean... If I put this here, I already got that. So not necessarily, but another green one would be helpful for this. So I might as well. Oh, if I do that here, then I can try and get another Kelly here while also working on that. Oh, that's neat. Let's do that. Next ones. So yeah, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for my next few turns. So that makes this a lot quicker right now. I'm going to put this one here, and then I have another green button. And it doesn't matter which one of these I grab. I don't think so. Maybe for the goals it does. 
I'm gonna need something pink here and either one of these two patterns so that doesn't matter and up here I need some pears I suppose I could go for another flower one Ooh, technically I can fit another Sierra here I think Oh no, not one, two, three, four, five, six, and she would touch the other group. No, I cannot fit another Sierra up there. Then it doesn't really matter, I think, what I'll be grabbing. Is there any button I'm close to completing? Also not really. I think I'm gonna go for the light blue then and go for that up here because I don't think the purple is necessarily much better. Which one have I used more so far? Because I'm gonna need to put something here. A light blue can actually go in two spots and purple only in one, so it doesn't make more sense to get the light blue, I think. Plus I can still get a purple next turn. Alrighty. I do really need another one of this shape though with what I'm currently doing. It's a little riskier what I started doing here, but it will help with my goals. Because basically I can use another one of these here to complete stuff, or another one of these here. I suppose I can save this one for the end of the game in case it gets messed up. Um, in the meantime, let's put this here because that puts two flowers here so I get a pair to work on this goal and two light blue together to possibly work towards a button. And then what else do I need? I need a fort of something here so green seems sensible so I can do that in color instead of in pattern because I feel like I'm already restricted myself quite a bit in pattern and of course if I manage to do a double that'd just be great. Icing on the cake is what we call that. I don't even think this is doable in double. I don't think so. Well actually technically it is. If I get this exact one here again, and then uh, this exact one here again. I think that's the only way you can do that. Because there's no third of these, and I would need this pattern again, and I cannot add an extra color. Okay, that's too much wishful thinking. We're not going to try this in double. And if I'm not going to try this in double, then I might as well just plop this one down here now and start working on the color of it. Uh, let's see, was it a good idea? Oh, I see why I should not have done this. Uh-oh. This is what I get when I focus too much on the goals. Now I block off another attempt at a Sierra here. Whoopsie. But I already have two of them and I have... I If I put this here, I do have a third. So technically I'm set for that. But that does mean drafting this is no longer all that interesting. I mean, still fine, but less interesting for sure. That's unfortunate. Hmm. What else do I want then? This one is definitely not interesting to me. I'm considering still grabbing this and just... But it doesn't really matter. I can't do another CR here because it would touch this one of the same pattern. So I don't think these ferns are useful to me. Except I suppose I could put them here, but I would rather have this pattern. If I do it here, I have a four... No, I don't have a four versus two in pattern. Never mind, this one is useless. We're just gonna grab a pink one, I think, so I can at least get a button. I think this was the first tough call I feel like I've had in this game so far. Other than that, it's pretty smooth sailing. Oh, that one is kind of perfect. I almost have this one perfect now. Almost. Okay, that means I know for sure I can get a Sierra if I place this here, so I'm gonna do that. After that, I'm grabbing this. This one gets tossed out. Oh, I threw over my stack of discarded tiles. This one moves down. And we're grabbing new things. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna put this here now, which is perfect because I have my third Sierra. And I have this one in color. I also have this one in color, so two of my goals are already completed as well. I'm really hoping I can pull this off, guys. It's looking hopeful, at least. I think the next thing I need to do is just get a whole ton more, a whole lot more buttons. I think that's the best way to score more points at this point, which means I need a yellow here, which is currently out there. Or I can also grab the dark blue and make something up here. Let me see how many are out there. I've grabbed two dark blues and two yellows. Let's see what's in the discard because I'm allowed to look through that. 
I've discarded three yellows and two dark blues. So there's definitely more yellow that has been discarded compared to blue. Oh, actually, this one doesn't necessarily need to be a button. I can also make it a cat with that pattern. Okay, in that case, I like the dark blue one better because this one has two options of what could potentially be useful in there. All right. Seriously? This game is trying to tell me I should have not done this and just put something there. I was too focused on doing this in color which is, and pattern, which is unfortunate because if I'd moved it here, I would have still had the cat and I could have done another Sierra here. But I think it might be alright. Let's grab a button and put that here. This one is going to be a button up there later on. This one is now two of a color, or two of a pattern and two of another pattern, and color wise it's two, one, one. This one would get a third, so that's not good. I probably just want a color I don't have here yet, so I think I'm gonna go for the purple to help with that goal and as well as possibly help with a button. Doing this one double isn't too many more points, but hey, two more points is still nice. Might make the difference. So yeah, let's uh, let's definitely put that one up there. There we go. And if I do that, that means I'm going to need one of these three colors after that in a pattern that I do not yet have in this circle. I think that would be that one, wouldn't it? Because then I have two of a pattern, two of a pattern, one of a pattern, and one of a pattern, and two of a color, two of a color, one of a color, one of a color. That looks like it will do it. I also definitely want this one next, but that one won't get discarded if I grab this, so let's do that. Oh, hey, look at that. It's another duplicate. Well, that makes my life easy. <laughs> Seriously, guys? All right, then. I think this game is trying to help me now, so that's nice. All right, this was gonna go up here. There we go. That completes that one. And then I can get any one of these, really. And um, I don't think it matters. Because if I grab a purple, I will get a button. So that one is definitely better. And I want one of these here. So I can just grab this now. And then later on, I can grab something purple there. Looks like it will work. Lycan is also laughing at the duplicate tiles. Oof, that's mean. Okay, if they put this one here, it's an extra button. So that's better, actually. I'm going to put this one up here. Get three pink, get a button for that. And now this is kind of mean because I really want both of these. So I should have gone with the purple last time instead of the dark blue. But I was worried. I mean, this was kind of wishful thinking. So I figured if I grab something else, it'd be better. I'm definitely going to put the yellow here though. Because that's both a cat and a button. So this one will score twice. Definitely better than the purple one. And hopefully I'll get something else in purple here. If not, I can combine the two dark blues and get a dark blue button. So I actually don't think it matters. I think it's fine. Oh, or a pink button. All of the choices. This first yellow button and another Kelly cat. And you might be like, how are all of the Kellys connected? It's because it's a different pattern, so that's allowed. So like buttons, I have two separate groups of green buttons, that's fine. It would not be possible if all of them had be connected together. But you can connect different color buttons. So even if it's, this is the same cat, it's a different pattern, so that makes it legal. So the ferns aren't touching the, uh, the the vines aren't touching other vines and the ferns aren't touching other ferns. So this is definitely one of those cases where it can be tricky to see if you've already scored something or not. Okay. Uh, next turn. It doesn't really matter anymore. I guess this is just I can put that here and then put that there, or grab another dark blue and put that there. It really doesn't matter. But this looks more fun because it's closer to getting another Kelly. So I'll do that. This one would theoretically get this card. I'm not going to get another turn, but just for the heck of it. There we go. And then we'll put both of these there. I mean, technically I put one here and then actually I did get the refill between one of these. And then it's my final turn. So that's not true. This did matter. So I put one here, I refilled, and then I get to refill my hand one final time. But no, it really doesn't matter what I grab. I'll put that there. There we go. Would have been nice. I almost had another one. Because this one isn't needed for this particular one. But it's nice for my goals. 
it's looking nice. Uh, let's not forget the button I just earned here. I don't think I overlooked anything, right? I think I've managed to put everything on my board that is supposed to be on my board. And now all we have to do is see if I can make it. I definitely think it's good that I skipped out on trying to do this double and grab the more expensive cat instead. Because it's is a difference of 5 points and the cat is 9. So that does seem like a good call. All three of these would be 22, but I think I might have done this one double. I did do this one double. Yeah, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. Yes. I almost had this one double, but not quite. I needed this one up there, basically. Is that true? E no, that's not true. That would have been three pink. No, that's not true. I need another one of... No, it's not possible. Never mind. Anyway... I did have this one double, so it's 24. That's good. And then the cats. 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 9 is 21. So that's the same I had last time. And I do have more buttons, but I'm not sure I made it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 18. 8, 9, 10, 13, 63, I think. That looks like I did it then. Unless I did my math wrong, I think I did it. Nice. This was definitely a trickier one. Yeah, I think that's it. Nice. The objectives were 62 or more points, three of the same cat, well, obviously, and all three goals on at least blue. So there we go. Done. Awesome. And only, I said I was going to try and stream between 60 and 90 minutes and we're at like 92. So that's not half bad. I love it when it all comes together. And you definitely saw that the second run through of scenario 5 went much smoother than the first. So like I said, which player board you're using versus how these land can definitely make a world of difference. I'm not sure it was possible for me to pull it off on the first try with how the board was laid out. Although I do also think I uh, made a smarter choice on where to place each of these compared to the goal, to compared to the cat shape type things. But yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go grab dinner. It is now about uh, 5.40 p.m. So just past 5.30. And I'll be back at 7 for a Karuba play along and at 7.30 for Cartographers. So I hope to see some of you guys there either to play along or simply to chat with me. Uh, or if you want something else, I believe that Yoda is going to be live at around the same time I am. And he's going to be playing through Rush MD. So if that's more your style of game, feel free to check that out as well. Okay, bye everybody, and I hope to see you at another one. Thanks for watching!